man of the moment, Tommy Berry, Golden Slipper winning jockey. He's off to Hong Kong in a couple of weeks, but he's kindly stepped aside to talk to us here at RaceNet TV about his uh, six rides at Ramwick on Saturday. Tommy might start with Sacred Force with Chris Waller in the Doncaster. He's a lovely colt. Um, you know, he's bred to get through the wet, and uh, his best runs have been on the wet ground. So uh, hopefully the the, go, the clouds over, um, clouds close, and um, <laughs> we get plenty of rain coming into the weekend because he's drawn a very nice barrier and. Uh, he runs a strong 2000, so that's what you need to do to get the mile at, um, in the Doncaster, and uh, he'll be right there at the end. Form out of his last run, second hits of Dundee, was looking pretty good too. Yeah, it was, and you know they walked in the race, it didn't go overly quick, so he uh, he did a good job to come from well back and, and get to the line well. So, yeah, that form was franked on Saturday, so uh, hopefully he can prove to be a good form on Saturday. Okay. Windbender in the Oaks, uh, pretty comfortably beaten in the Adrian Knox last weekend, but uh, you got a little theory on that. Yeah, I do. He's a, he's a horse who can get pulling in his races. We've seen that time in, time out, and uh, they went very slow in the Adrian Knox. I actually led the race, and uh, he got flushed out at about the half mile and, and kept getting wider and wider. So hopefully with a bit of pace in the race, we've uh, maybe shiz a girl. Um, uh, the thing of Nathan's and Steve Ingleberts puts a bit of pace in the race, and it gives him a chance to relax and run home because, um, you know, Chris wouldn't have him in the race if he didn't think he had the ability. Uh, one horse that did flash home well last start at Ramwick for the Monday meeting was Eminent Domain, much to the delight of myself, and uh, you're back aboard him again on Saturday. Yeah, he's a lovely horse and he's uh, got plenty of ability, and um, but he has got plenty of problems as well. So, uh, you know, he, he had a perfect preparation going into the race, and, um, you know, uh, Denny Williams said um, he was 100% before it. So uh, if he can get there 100% on Saturday, he's a horse with a, a very good turn of foot, and um, it looks to be a nice pace in the race again. And, uh, he doesn't mind it being dry or soft, so uh, either way, and if you can get the right run in the race, he'll definitely storm home late. Okay, we might just stick with the four horses for Saturday, Tommy. Uh, under the sun in the last race for Gay. Been a bit disappointing of late. Uh, might not gotten, might not have gotten the trip um, before, so he's back to the 1400. Had the freshen up, and he tried really well going into Saturday. So um, usually Gay, when she sends him back to uh, the trials and has a little freshen up, they um, come back nice. So uh, we'll see how we go. Excited about Hong Kong. Yeah, very excited. I uh, got six rides on my first meeting there, and and five the following meeting. So, um, no, it's plenty to look forward to. And uh, but first, we've got a few more Saturdays left. Another Group One win. Hopefully. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate.